Good morning, everyone. Welcome from inside the guinea pig's cage. There's Gatsby. I just cleaned out the guinea pigs. This is what the cage looks like. So we have these two fleece liners that I put in yesterday evening. Um, so we have a little bit of mess, but not too bad. This is kind of what it looks like after a night. And then I'm sitting on two fresh fleece liners that I just put in a few seconds ago. And what I really like to do is when the fleece liners are really fresh, I love to sit inside the guinea pig's cage. I mean, he's just doing something really crazy with the Heidi. But I love to sit inside and just let the guinea pigs explore and then give them some pea flags and like ask them to like come up to me and then they get their pea flags. And right now they're still not sure what's happening. So that's just rumba strutting. Gatsby! Hey, Sylvester! Quick, quick! Oh, there's Nugget. Hi, Nugget. Hi. Oh, wait, this is not a pea flag. Good morning, Nugget. Good morning, Gatsby. Good morning, me. Mm -hmm. What's up, Nugget? <laughs> you guys are so cute. I guess Sylvester is just really happy with his hay and doesn't want to... Gatsby is a very friendly pig this morning. Minnie as well? Yesterday, Sylvester Rumbo strutted at me because I think I was sitting in the way. So he kind of first first pushed my leg and then he was Rumbo strutting. So I left the cage because obviously I was kind of bothering everyone. Um, okay, everyone's eating hay now. And Sylvester, I think, has found the ramp party and is eating hay. There's Sylvester. And I don't think he wants a pea flake. Let's put the ramp Heidi back here because that's where it belongs so the guinea pigs can go on the upper level. Now there's more space in that area. There's my little Gatsby friend, huh? Hey Sylvester! There's my knee which is providing the perfect hiding opportunity. Because now it's really dark under the level. Hey, Sylvester, do you want a pea flag? Yes, Sylvester wants a pea flag too. And <laughs> Nugget really wants a pea flag. Oh, wow, Minnie is climbing on my lap as well. Like a couple of months ago, I did the video on how I taught my guinea pig to climb on my hand, um, which is something we taught Nugget a couple of months ago. And you can also teach your guinea pigs to climb on your lap, and this is pretty much how you do it. You get your guinea pigs, you have a treat. You can use pea flakes, of course you can also use like small pieces of cucumber or lettuce, anything the guinea pigs like. You don't really need a specific kind of like specific guinea pig treat. You can also just use lettuce, for example, because that's mini is pushing me. <laughs> Um, because usually all guinea pigs really love lettuce. Um, and then you can take the treat and get them to come up to you. So it's pretty easy. So the first step is to get a treat. The second step is to show them the treat and we can test it with a shy guinea pig, Mini. Hey, look, there's a treat, Mini. Look, you can have a treat. 
and Minnie is shy but really hungry. Oh, and Nugget completely climbed on my lap now. And as you can see, third step is, this is going to work really well if you have multiple guinea pigs because once one of them starts eating, all of them want a treat and they're just going to run all over you. It's like, you can see Nugget is now sitting on my lap, really high up by the way. Nugget, are you trying to look into the hallway? Why are you sitting so high up looking outside the cage? It's a nice perspective. The third step would be ask your guinea pigs to put your paws on your legs and then give them a treat. And really the main key to that is repetition because your guinea pigs will remember everything um, better when they receive a treat and they will remember getting a treat really well um, because they're usually always really hungry. So that's how you teach them to climb on your lap really. It's super simple and it's probably something that you can teach in a really small amount of time. Obviously it's easier if you can actually sit inside your guinea pig cage but you can do that during floor time as well. The <laughs> mini is still hoping for a pee plague. So get the treat to mini and then guide them with the treat be careful of the nugget, guide them to your legs. Be careful of any wild nuggets you find on the way. See, Minnie has already learned it. She's now always coming up to me asking for a pea flake. Hey Sylvester! Sylvester, you didn't get a lot of pea flakes. You want to participate? See, Minnie's like, let me! Oh, Nugget! <laughs> nugget. Your nugget is just sliding. Don't bite into my finger, Nugget. Hey, Nugget. Nugget is just everywhere. What's up, Sylvester? He didn't want to participate in the beginning, but I think now he really likes getting treats. Oh, I think... Mini, I think you guys had enough pea flags. I'm going to leave your house now. Okay? No? Okay, I think I can leave their cage now. And you can hear the wood making these really nice noises. I always love when wood <laughs> makes these noises. I live in a fairly newish apartment. Well, it's not that new actually, but it's also not really old. And I would love to live in one of these old places where you actually have wooden floors that creak. I mean, he's planning something. The guinea pigs are currently eating hay. They look pretty happy. Minnie is exploring the cage and doing things. Not really sure what. Looks like she's up to something. Trying to rearrange the fleece liners, apparently. And scratch herself, because that's really important too. And she feels like she was caught. <laughs> and pretending to eat hay again. Why well, she's still working on her evil plan to rearrange the fleece liners. Alright, now it's time for a nap. Sylvester is on the second level. Hey, Sylvester! Here is a pea flake. Just for you. Sylvester sometimes needs some extra pea flakes or some extra attention because he's always keeping everything in order in this group and like making sure everyone gets along. But at the same time, he's not as... He's not as active as the younger guinea pigs. 
So sometimes it takes him a while to like get a treat or to find out where the treats are, so now he's playing with a pocket. So Sylvester definitely needs some extra preflakes sometimes. Gatsby is sleeping in the house without a roof. That seems to be one of their favorite hiding places, even though it's not really a place where you can hide that well. <laughs> I'm sitting here with my cup of coffee and enjoy watching the guinea pigs explore their fresh cage and just be themselves because they always get really excited whenever they get fresh flea signers, so that is my reward for cleaning them. It's like watching them explore everything and be really happy and just sit here and look at them. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you guys next time!